what's up foodies thank you so much for all the love you guys give me i really 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 appreciate that thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing also i just started a new um, instagram page please go ahead and show some love to that instagram page as well i really appreciate all your support now for today's recipe we're going to be making hyderabadi chicken 65 so without wasting any more of your time let's get to making the recipe for you all right guys so the most important thing about making the chicken 65 is marinating the chicken um, it's a very simple marination but also at the same time this is what's going to give you the taste of your chicken as well so i have about um, about two pounds of uh, of boneless uh, uh, skinless and um, and fatless uh, chicken breast now for marination what we're going to do is i have some curry pata that's finely chopped that i'm adding in there with that i have ample amount of ginger garlic paste and uh, i'm using fresh ginger garlic paste you can use the ginger garlic paste you can find in the market that's completely okay i'm gonna go ahead and add some spicy chili again as you guys know i like spicy food so i'm adding some spicy chili with that now i'm also adding just a little bit of turmeric as you know turmeric is my favorite spice the best antibiotic you can find out there with that i have some roasted jeera powder so i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of roasted jeera powder now at this point what we're going to do is we're going to add two things that are going to give that red uh, red color to the chicken i'm going to go ahead and add some kashmiri chili Kashmiri chili is a substitute, natural substitute for food color. This is what's going to give you the red color uh, for your chicken. So I'm adding a good amount of Kashmiri chili. Kashmiri chili usually it's not spicy. Now I'm also for a little bit of kick for it. I'm also adding a little bit of sriracha sauce. And the last two ingredients we're going to add is we're going to add salt to taste and we're going to add some yogurt to it once we add yogurt uh, we're going to go ahead and let this sit for about um, about hour um, hour and 45 minutes totally up to you if you put it in a fridge you can go ahead and let it sit in there for about hour or even 30 minutes if you're going to go ahead and leave it out there uh, the best way you get a base taste out of it is by leaving it for about hour and 30 to hour and 45 minutes. So let's come back to it once the chicken is marinated. I've let my chicken sit for a while. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of uh, rice flour. And with that, we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of cornstarch. And once adding that, we're going to go ahead and give it a good mix again. And then we're going to go out and deep fry the chicken. Okay, right, so all we're going to do is once we mix the rice flour and, uh, and chicken and the corn flour together, in our hot oil, we're just going to go ahead and start putting our chicken in there. And then we're just going to deep fry it and make, uh, make it crunchy. All right, guys, so for what we're going to do now, it's after uh, deep frying the chicken. Now we're just going to do a dry tarka very quick. So for the tarka, what I have is I'm going to go ahead and add some... Uh, some chopped garlic, uh, chopped garlic, I very finely chopped garlic over here. Uh, with that, I have some uh, green chilies. And with green chilies, I have some curry pasta. Alright guys, so what else we're going to add in our third kai is we're going to add a little bit more Kashmiri chili. So just a little more Kashmiri chili. And with that, Anytime we're making food from South India, it's never complete without adding some black pepper powder. So I'm going to go ahead and add ample amount of black pepper powder. Um, and when we make chicken 65, it's normally very, very spicy as well. So after adding that, just getting the color out of the, of the Kashmiri chili in the oil, we're just going to go ahead and add our chicken in it, give it a quick toss and our food is going to be ready. All right, guys. So this is how you want to dry toast your um, your chicken 65. So pretty much this is done, and um, that's how you want to serve your chicken 65 with some green chutney and some also with some uh, some uh, imli chutney. All right, guys. So as you know, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. 
Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. Keep liking, sharing, subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Have a great day.